Hey, what is up guys? Thanks for checking out my video. I hope you are having a good day. In this video, we will be going through how to install Proxmox on bare metal. So the first thing you need to do is go to proxmox.com, then click downloads, Proxmox virtual environment, ISO images, and then the Proxmox VE ISO installer. I'm installing 7.4. Obviously, they release new versions, so you just could be 7.5, 7.6, It could change the process, I should say. could change a little bit if it got to 8, like another major release, but most likely it won't. It'll be the same. So what we're going to do now is click Download. Let that file download. It's about a gig, so it shouldn't take too long. Okay, that download has completed. Now we're going to jump over to a program called Rufus. Rufus will take that ISO image we just downloaded and burn it onto a USB thumb drive or USB stick, not a USB hard drive or not a USB drive, but a, an actual smaller USB stick. And in this case, you can see it's an eight gig stick that I'm using. If you're unaware of Rufus or what it is, if you just go to go to Google, type in Rufus, you will see right here, Rufus.ie, create bootable USB drives the easy way. That's the program you need. So you just drill into that and then click download down here. So back to Rufus, you've selected that ISO, you've selected your USB drive, we can click start saying we're going to delete all of the data on the device. Click OK. OK, so that is now completed. For this next step of the video, I'm going to have to switch over to my camera. I'm going to do my best to hold it clear and steady, uh, but I'm going to be taking video of the installation process, which not, cannot be completed via a web GUI or a SSH session. So it has to be on the screen. OK, for this part of the video, we are now looking at the screen. And what we're going to do is take that USB drive out of uh, our computer that we flashed it on and plug it into whatever bare metal that we want to install Proxmox onto. So I did that. And then what I did, you heard the beep there. That was just the box rebooting. You have to hit delete. So you have to go into BIOS. Um, sometimes it's F1, sometimes it's F10. Uh, it's most boxes, you just hit delete multiple times at boot. They have quick boot enabled, which is why you don't see the screen. Or you might see it just for a blink of an eye. But you hit delete a bunch of times, D-E-L, bottom right of the keyboard, and you'll come into a screen like what you see here. And what we want to look for is um, the boot order. So you can see right here at the top, there's boot, boot order, and we can see right here boot option. So boot option one is Windows Boot Manager, boot option two is NVMe, boot option three is USB UEFI device. So we need to move that up to number one because we do not want to boot into Windows. How do we do that? So let's hit, it uh, looks like right over here. If you look on the right, change option plus minus. So that's really just change order. So we hit plus, that should move it to, no, it moved it down. So actually we want to hit minus. There we go. Okay, there we go. So we now have the USB drive as the number one boot option. So we will now boot into that, which is what we want. So now we went right one more time to save and exit. We're gonna make sure we save changes and exit, hit enter. Yes, we wanna save the configuration. Ah, so we've secure boot enabled, so I need to change that. So it looks like it's booting back into Windows. Let's restart again. We hear that beep, and again, I'm just hitting delete a bunch of times right now. There we go. So it looks like secure boot is enabled, so now I need to find that right here. So secure boot under security, disable. Save and exit, there we go. Okay, here we go. So Proxmox, it's a good sign. Install Proxmox. Okay, so I was running into an error on first boot. I am using a N95 mini PC. Uh, something maybe a little bit newer. It has an Intel uh, 12th gen, or maybe this is a 13th gen integrated graphics card, um, or not a graphics card, but a graphics processor. And I was getting this error that it looks like it's pretty common. You get a you know black screen after the install begins, and then you get a note saying that the install failed, and it's this exact error right here, so it cannot run in frame buffer mode. Please specify bus IDs for all frame buffer devices. Um, all I did is I VI'd to this directory. I created a file called driver-intel.com. You can see here he had NVIDIA and I added this exact uh, code here. I'll put this link in the description as well. But I added this exact code. I did not restart. It says then restart. I did not restart. I just did X in it. Um, and immediately the GUI started. So that's a good thing. So I'm gonna switch back. 
you can see here we're back at the install proxmox and user license agreement i agree country us click next select your root password okay password and email click next this all looks good click next install so there we go we are now installing proxmox okay it looks like the install is done so now what we're going to do is we're going to reboot but before we reboot we are going to remove that usb drive so all we need to do is type exit and reboot and we actually need to go into bios as well to change the boot order on your box, you probably don't have to go into the BIOS to change the boot order. As soon as you remove the USB drive, the computer knows not to boot from that, obviously. But I also have another hard drive in this with Windows installed, which we will see here. So we can see here USB disk. So what I'm going to do now is remove that. Okay, so that's removed. And we can see here Proxmox. I'm not sure if it's this one or this one, but what I'm going to do is try to move the Windows below both of them so it should boot one of those. There we go. So it's Proxmox and the UEFI OS. Hit escape. Let's go back to save and exit. Save changes and exit. Yes. Here we go. So it has now booted. If I don't touch anything, it'll automatically boot. And here we go. So you can see here it says I can go to that web address to connect to it. So we're going to jump back to the main desktop. Okay, so we are now logged in to Proxmox, the virtual environment, but we need to do two things real quick before we consider this completed. Now, you're gonna get an error when you log in saying you need a subscription, go to proxmox.com, look at your options. Now, you can do that. Now, you can see here community, $105 or pounds, basic, standard, premium, etc. This is really for support. You can see here you get community support, you get access to the enterprise repo. That's for updates, that just means that we're going to have to do updates manually, um, which there's plenty of documentation on how to do that. So we want to disable these errors and also disable this repo so we do not keep getting notification. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is remove that subscription notice. This nice gentleman has, has created a command for us. You can see it's here. I just copy and pasted it. Go back to PuTTY, right-click to paste, hit Enter. Then what we're going to do is go back to our Proxmox web GUI. We're going to log out and log back in and hopefully we do not get there. There we go. And if you do get there, you might have to clear your browser cache. For the purposes of installing in basic configurations, Proxmox is now installed. There will be some additional things we need to do, like create an ISO uh, for, let's say, Linux or Windows. We'll need maybe do some network configuration settings, um, DNS, maybe add another host. If you have external NAS or external SAN you want to pipe into this. I will create some additional videos on how to do that for sure, how to create an ISO and our first VM coming up. So again, I hope this video is helpful and I hope you're having a great day. See ya.